Hello everybody, Bigot here. Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock in Minecraft. We're starting this episode off with a dragon boss. I'm just going to do this at the start and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through what I'm doing between the episodes because yesterday I was very, very, very busy on the server. I got a lot done and uh, yeah, I can't wait to show the progress with you. But first, I'm just kill this hasty dragon. Right, so the dragon boss has been defeated. We placed third place and we got 15 dragon fragments and a legendary boss pouch. All right, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to teleport to our island and bring you up to speed what I've been doing between the episodes. All right, so here we are back on the island. So between episodes, I have been working very heavily on these missions here. Or actually, I'm going to pause that right there and walk back to the D boss because someone's just put in the chat 14 out of 16 eyes have been placed. So if we can get like a defensive or an aquatic or a champ or something, that'd be brilliant. So I'm just going to pause that there and I'm going to bring you back once this dragon boss has been defeated. All right, so the dragon boss is spawning. Hopefully something good. Colossal. Not the best, but it could have been worse. All right, as you can see in the chat there, our boss fortune has just increased to level one, meaning we have done 50,000 damage to the dragon boss with our bow which is very, very nice. So the dragon boss has been defeated. We came in fourth place, got 12 fragments and a legendary boss pouch. Right, so this time let's go back to the island and I'll tell you what I've been up to. Okay then, take two of what I've been up to between episodes. So yes, I have got 1000 herbalism, which is good. I've been harvesting our glowberry farm down there. I, I got herbalism 1000 to focus on the personal missions. If we have a look at the personal missions, so obviously there are 12 missions to do and at the end of the last episode we just unlocked tier 6. So as you can see I have already completed 8 of these missions. So these missions, the ones I need to do are farmer, which is harvest 50,000 crops, break 10,000 cocoa beans and craft crop dust the 6. As you can see by the progress I have broken 10,000 cocoa beans and I'm almost halfway to the crops. The crops I'm harvesting are wheat because for crop dust the 6 you need tier 9 wheat and i'm currently tier 5 i believe so i'm slowly getting up there mining this one's going to take a very long time we have to mine 30,000 endstone and mine 50,000 ore i haven't really touched this much i've been mainly focusing on the other ones whilst just doing this in the background from time to time play time spend a total of 48 hours on your island as you can see we've done 35,000 seconds i believe that is and earn 2 million sky coins we have got 669,000. All of the rest of them have been completed. So yes, here's the cocoa bean farm I created to harvest 10,000 cocoa beans. This took ages. It took far too long, far, far, far too long. And as you can see from our farmer's harvester here, we've done 11,000 wheat, just over 10,000 cocoa beans, 6,500 potatoes, 6,500 carrots. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly... In this area over here as well, look, I've planted wheat. This was supposed to be the beetroot area, but um, where we need, if we've looked at some masteries, where we need tier 9 wheat, look, where it says crop dust the 6 enchant recipe, we need a lot of wheat. Between episodes, I'm going to probably double this in size to 10, between 8 and 10, and uh, harvest all of it and hopefully get closer towards that mission. I've also been harvesting a lot of mobs. As you can see by my XP, we're currently sat at 1.791 million. So, uh, yeah, I've killed a lot of mobs. One of the missions was to create a Slayer Blade and get 7,000 kills with it. So I created this Slayer Blade and I'm currently sat at 12,500 kills. Our fortune level increased to level 12 on our pickaxe as well. So we are we're almost maxed out on our pickaxe as well. And as you saw in the clip just then, we hit... 50,000 boss damage and just got boss fortune one so yes i have been very 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 busy this took longer than i'd like to admit so uh yeah that wasn't fun but uh killing the mobs was chill it was pretty fun got a lot of heads and um yeah a lot of xp a lot of money a lot of heads so it was a good time overall but the goal for this episode is i'm gonna harvest the wheat uh i'm probably gonna do some dragon boss just to chill out because uh, it took a long time doing all those missions yesterday. But uh, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to keep harvesting all of the crops. I'm going to keep mining to try and get that end stone. I tried placing some of this end stone that I've already got in a chest to break it to see if it counts towards it. But it does not. 
it needs to come from one of these so yeah that's not going to be fun that is not going to be fun at all but luckily we're still quite early on in the season so um there's plenty of time before the season resets i really want to get to uh, tier 10 on the personal missions just to see what's there but uh, tier 6 is going to take us a long time so uh yeah all right so i've been looking at these missions and crop duster 6 with tier 9 wheat is going to take a very 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 long time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attempt to craft two max tier wheat minions if you're unsure how to craft a wheat minion i'm going to do it here with you all to hopefully show you how to do it i'm just going to get a few things ready that we need and then i'll bring you straight back so to craft a wheat minion you need 16 wheat and a diamond hoe and that crafts a tier one so what we're going to do here is just going to create a diamond hoe i've got enough wheat to create a tier one there we go diamond hoe so then if we do slash m craft put the hoe in the middle i'm just going to fill this with wheat because then i've got a tier one put that in again tier two and then i'm just going to keep going like this until i get hopefully get up to a tier 10 so we've got a tier five there chuck nine more stacks in eight more stacks sorry makes a tier seven so this is where things start getting interesting so to get up to a tier seven and above you need something called enchanted wheat so to create enchanted wheat what you need is go into slash m craft and fill up this entire crafting thing with wheat like so and then shift click and you get four so nine stacks of wheat turn into four enchanted wheat so i'm just going to do this for all of the wheat that we have hopefully we have enough to create a tier a, at least one tier 10 that would be quite nice so if we put the wheat minion in there i believe it takes yeah 16 again to make a tier seven so we're up to a tier seven there we go so you need four in every slot here so you need half a stack to create a tier eight unfortunately looking at our wheat supplies here we don't have enough at the moment to craft a tier 10 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this tier tier eight down i'm just going to place him over here uh, rotate him so he's facing us there we go so this wheat minion Every, uh, gains one mastery every 25 seconds and sells drops every 25 seconds so we're every 25 seconds we are going to gain one wheat mastery and i'm going to despawn our endstone one so i'm standing down our endstone minion i'm just going to place him in this chest where he's going to sit forever and what i'm going to do is hopefully turn the rest of this into the highest level wheat minion again so that i have two wheat minions on the server so here we go i have created another tier seven so i believe you've got a tier seven and a tier eight wheat minion on our island now i'm going to place him in there rotate him there we go so now we've got a tier seven and a tier eight wheat minion gaining us mastery points so hopefully we can hit the tier nine wheat mastery even quicker yep i've harvested our wheat as well so we are slowly slowly getting there all right so we're back at the dragon boss unfortunately it's only a hasty dragon what i'm going to do is i'm going to kill this probably do one or two more and probably call the episode i know i'm doing a lot of dragon boss in the recent episodes but um i do really enjoy it and it's an incredible way of earning money so um i hope you guys are enjoying it as well all right so the dragon boss has been defeated we placed fifth place we've got 15 dragon fragments and an epic boss pouch what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run around here kill some shadow summoners uh wait for the dragon to spawn and i'll bring you guys back all right so we have got another dragon boss incoming lyan the junior admin on the server has spawned the dragon in for us an experience not the best but um Still, it was really nice of Lion to spawn in the dragon for us. After this, we'll do one more kill. Uh, hopefully, the next dragon will be a good dragon. Either champion, aquatic, or defensive will be really nice. All right, so the dragon boss has been defeated. We placed fourth place. We got 13 fragments and a legendary boss pouch. Right, I'm just going to run around and I'll bring you guys back when the next one spawns. All right, here we are at the final dragon boss of the episode. We did come here a bit late. There was a server reboot for my zone, so I missed out on a, about 4,000 health. But uh, we should, if we do well, we should still finish in the top top five. Unfortunately, it is only an experienced again. 
We haven't had the best luck with the dragon bosses in this episode, but um, nonetheless, it's still good to kill them because you still get good money either way. So, And I can work on getting the boss fortune up on my bow. So win-win at the end of the day. I'm just going to take the time to let you guys know that if you are new to Skyblock, in the description down below, I have got a few tutorial videos. There's a tutorial on how to get started with fishing, how to build a cobblestone generator, how to build a cactus farm, and a tutorial on starting Skyblock if you are completely new or a beginner to the game mode. If you don't play Minecraft or you don't play Skyblock and you'd like to join me, the IP is also in the description down below. All right, so the dragon boss has been defeated and we got six dragon fragments. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode there. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. If you are, please let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much.